Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We're out of the Glass Jug, which is a bottle shop and uh, grotto filling station. The first uh, kind of pressure grill. That's station. right. In the area, and we're up in, on Highway 55 in the uh, well, this is the Greenwood Common Shopping Center. And we're going to drink a beer here today from the Pony Source Brewing Company out of Durham. And we're just a slightly confused about what we're drinking. And we're drinking their red rye, which we thought was originally brewed in collaboration with the World Beer Festival, with all about beer folks. And we understand now that it's being tweaked uh, place to place a little bit. So in fact, it's a little different everywhere you drink it. Because you know, Pony Source is a small batch operation, barrel and a half, over in Durham. They do great work over there. And we've had some of their beer. And we've never actually done a video uh, when we drank their beer on tape. We've been in the facility into the NC yep. Beer Bus some time ago. Yep. Great guys. If you don't know Pony Source, they're at uh, 1101 West Chapel Hill Street in Durham. And the brewmaster over there is Kyle Jansen. And they say the brand master is David Baldwin. And that's because David comes out of a PR public background with uh, Baldwin and Ann. Baldwin Ann is the company. And the ringmaster over there, the guy who runs the cookery, where they're actually located in the cookery, is Nick Johnson. So it's Nick and David and Kyle who are mainly doing the work. And Kyle is the brewer over there. And he left the uh, great illustrious job of special ed teaching to uh, follow his love for craft beer and he's doing a great job doing a great thing. Yep. So uh, as I said the descriptions are going to vary on this beer a little bit. It's a red rye IPA and one of the guys who drank it here before us had posted this description online so I'll use what he said. He said he had it in a growler from Glass Jug in Durham. He said it had a good aroma, sweet, fruity, orange, apricot and rye flavors all coming through. He said it was a tad hazed brownish orange color. Yeah. That might be right. Yeah. Uh, okay head that faded quickly, spotty lace, bittersweet flavor, medium body, pretty smooth nut mouth feel, bitter dry finish. It's good, aroma best for me, nice fruity notes, flavor, more bitter, grapefruit and rye. It's fine. Okay. Fine. That's what he said. Well, let's just see how fine it That's is. Right. One more thing, uh, what Kyle said about the beer was this was an opportunity to, be, to debut a beer with a group of people who are excited to try new things and always supportive of our local beer community. And he wanted this to be uh, spicy and hoppy at the same time. So it should be a fruity hoppy happy egg. And spicy. Right. Okay. Can I have it now? <laughs> now you can drink. <laughs> now you can drink. <laughs> Spicy aroma. No, I'll skip the aroma. We're right to drinking. Okay. Oh, you do get this. This is a nice fruit kind of sensation coming through here behind the hops. Yeah. It's very nice. Um, I'm trying to, it doesn't have. Oh, no, it's not hot forward at all. It's not hot forward at all. Not for um, IPA. It's actually very smooth. <laughs> it and is. I, I was like, if this is, a, this is an IPA. I'm not sure I would know this was an IPA, honestly. Uh, this, this, and that's not a criticism. No. I, I, no. I'm not a hop head. And, uh, but if this, somebody just handed me this beer between the color and the uh, flavor, I would think it was a hopped up, maybe even an amber. It, it just, it's, 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 yeah, it's got, you get the rye flavor on the back end. Uh -huh. You feel you get it in the back of your tongue. It's bready. That's, that's good. bready like and fruity. Yep. Uh, the hops and, and the, uh, mm. that is just not the primary characteristic of this beer at all. No, I think rye is. I love rye. The rye does, the rye grows on you mm -hmm. too. Yep. Very nice. That's wonderful. And we're having it here, which makes it even better. Oh yeah, the glass judge is going to do great things. They've only been up for a few months. Yep. They're getting their feet on the ground, and we just think you guys should come in every chance you get and start letting them be your beer store when you're in the area. And of course, Chris and Katie know so much about beer. Yep. From their home brewing background, and Chris Creech is known statewide for his great brewing beer. expertise. That's right. Uh, so he's going to know about beer, and Katie is just right there with him. I mean, she's certified beer server. She knows all about beer, and she's going to be who you see mostly here running the show. 
and don't think you've been spotted if you do with her because she knows, she knows beer. maybe more about it than Chris does. But anyway, she certainly knows beer and can tell you what's available, what might suit your palate, particularly if you're looking for something new and different. Sure. And of course, they're huge NC beer fans. That's right. But it's not just an NC beer store. No. It's a nice bottle shop for all your beer needs, craft beer needs. And they've got great programs going on where they've got a locker set up where you can uh, sign up where they will put things in your locker for you. Pre-sales. Pre-sales as they come available. You'll just come in with your locker key and get your stuff and it'll be all paid for you to walk out the door. And the big thing is the counter pressure filled growlers. So they're the only ones in the area that have it. And what's great about doing that is the beer stays fresher for longer in your growlers. Right. It doesn't mean it's gonna stay fresher if you open it up and let it sit for two weeks. No, no, but, but, but when you get it and you don't have time to drink it, and you know, a couple weeks later, you stick it in the fridge. It's going to be fantastic because the counter pressure really makes it. And you'll be just as fresh then as if you walked yep. out of the store with it and rushed home to drink it, thinking it's going to go bad as soon as you That's right. got it home. But it's yep. not the case. So we had uh, two great things today. We're here at Glass Joker, which is always a treat. Yep. And of course, the guys at Pony Source are doing good things. If you get a chance to see some Pony Source bottles, they are the ones generally on the shelves with the brown paper wrapper. Where they do a very distinctive thing. They put a brown paper wrapper tied at the top. Yep. So you see that grab it. And that great Pony Source label, which is, you know, half pony, half dinosaur pony sword. It's a long story we won't get into. Uh, or if you get over to the cookery, uh, they don't actually have a tasting tap area except in the cookery when the cookery has functions, but the uh, pony sword brand is available all across Durham on draft. And then in a few bottles. Yep. So until next time, this is the NC Beer Guys from the Glass Jug at Greenwood Commons in Durham on Highway 55. And until next time, remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.